Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Everyday Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced Equal 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced equal problems on topics like select, like basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called the most recent three orders and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 41st video of the series called the most recent three orders and let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called customers with two different columns customer id and name customer id is the column with unique values for this table this table contains information about the customers we are also given a second table called orders with four different columns order id order date customer id and cost order id is the column with unique values for this table this table contains information about the orders made by customer id each customer has one order per day okay we are asked to write a solution to find the most recent three orders of each user if a user ordered less than three orders return all of their orders return the result table ordered by customer name and ascending order and in case of a tie by customer id in ascending order and if there is still a tie order by order date in descending order okay let's go to this example and see what do we need in our output so here we have various records of various different customers in customers table as well as different orders in the orders table so we need to return for every customer the latest three orders so if we take customer id one right so customer id one we have one two three and four four different orders and what are the latest three so this was on 31st of july 2020 this was on 10th of june 2020 this is 3rd of august 2020 and this then this is 15th of july 2020 so the most latest is 3rd of august 2020 after that we have 31st of july 2020 and the third latest is 15th of july 2020 so for customer id one these are the three that we need in our output and similarly for other customers so if we look at our customer id right so if we look at our customer id one then we have the 3rd of august 31st of july and 15th of july so to solve this question what we need is firstly since the customer name is not in the orders table but it is in the customers table and we need that in our output and along with customer id ordered id and order date which are actually in the orders table so we know that we need to join these two tables but instead of joining initially what we can do is firstly we can try that okay let's take the orders table partition by the customer id order by the order date in decreasing manner and try to rank these orders from the most recent to the least recent so that once we have that then what we can do is we can join with the customers table on the customer id column to get the name because we need the name in our output and then only keep those rows where the rank or the most recent three orders are present and how can we get that the rank would be less than or equal to three because that is how we are ranking from most recent to least recent okay so what i'm saying is let me just drag it to the left so and drag it down so that we are able to write it so what i'm saying is firstly let's try to find out for every customer id what are the ranks associated with the orders so from this table called orders let me keep all the columns and in the output we do not need the cost right we need the order id yes we need the order date customer id and customer name right so we only need the first three columns so let me you know just try to keep only those so i need the order id i need the order date and i also need the customer id and then let me you know go ahead and make a ranked column so there are three ways of ranking rank dense rank and row number dense rank and then since we are writing a window function we need to write the over clause and for every customer id we need it right so partition by customer id and then order by order date in decreasing manner right so decreasing and let's alias this as rank as rank let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have in our output so if i drag it above and let's look at our output so here we have for every customer id this is the as we just saw right so this is the most recent this is the second recent third recent fourth recent and so on so we have this for every customer id now what we can do is we got this table right so from this you know we can wrap this around parentheses which will basically become our sub query right so from this entire table let's alias this as table t we need to join with right so as t we need to left join with the customers table why we are doing this customers table aliased as c on t dot customer 
ID is equal to C dot customer ID. The reason we are doing it because we need the name of the customer in our output, right? So if you look at it, customer name is required. So once we join this, what are the different columns that we need in our output? So we need the name, right? And it should be so return C dot name and this should be aliased as customer name, right? So as customer name and then what we need is customer id order id and order date so t dot star for now i'm keeping star because we also you know need this rank for demonstration purposes in the final output we do not need it but let me just go ahead and run this so that you know i can demonstrate you okay so if we look at our output so here this is what we have right now let me just drag it to the you know left and above so that we are able to see it properly okay so now we have customer name order id order date customer id and the rank now we are only interested in the most recent three so we can keep only those rows where rank is less than equal to three so if i go ahead and write where t dot rank is less than equal to three and if i now go ahead and run this let's see what do we get okay so now what we have is for every customer id the most recent three orders okay now once we have this then we do not need this rank column and we also need to reorder these or these columns so what i'm saying is customer name so this is the first column that we need in our output then what we need is we also need the customer id so t dot customer id then we need the order id so t dot order id and then we need the t dot order date so t dot order date okay now let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get okay so now what we have is our output is this now we also need to sort this by three different columns so firstly by customer name right so let me just drag it down so i we need to write okay order by customer name then by if there is a tie then by customer id so t dot customer id and again by t dot order date in descending order okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay so if i drag it above so this is what we have our output is accepted if we look at our output our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it so we pass all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how to do it so yes somewhat tricky but like yeah, very similar to the questions that we have been solving lately so what we did was we, firstly we you know try to get okay what is the rank assigned with the most recent for every customer id we got that and then we joined with the customer table on the customer id column so that we can get the customer name in our output and then we only kept those rows where rank is less than equal to three because we require the most recent three orders of each user and then we ordered by the customer name customer id and order date in decreasing value so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video